All right, um, I know we're a little bit behind here, so I'm gonna try to kind of get through all of this um, briefly here, but it's interesting we talk about the word modern enterprise because I, I often think of the modern enterprise as really just a byproduct of, of how we all got here, right? You know, from a culture standpoint, from a, a technology standpoint, from all sorts of different angles in there, the modern enterprise is really a built of, you know, our enterprise from decades, you know, gone by behind us. That all said, our technology stacks have also been that way, either from acquisitions, mergers, different buying decisions over time, different technology vendors, um, line of business out there buying applications, the, uh, so the shadow IT out there. And in the end, it kind of gets us into you know, something that, oops, I hit the wrong button here. Um, something that kind of resembles this if you want to really map out what an enterprise architecture is looking like, right? And I'm sure a lot of you could probably resonate of, of looking at that. And if we would just look at some of the key computing architecture pieces, you know, you have, uh, you know, a, a distributed, you know, units, you have maybe a server farm internally with a whole bunch of uh, server racks in there. You probably have some cloud infrastructure that you're already working with. Perhaps you're into the edge space and you have some edge nodes out there as well. And being in the financial services industry, I could probably almost guarantee you got a mainframe in there as a part of that. Now, Several years ago, I was in the um, enterprise application space, and when I would talk with a lot of our, our salespeople and I would talk with customers, the interesting thing is that they would look at, one, one group of people would look at this and say, oh my God, this is a mess. How can we even deal with it? But then you'd have the other side of the coin people would look at it and they'd say, you know, this is something unique about us. Like, this is, this is the work that has helped us get to where we are. This is a, competitive advantage in some way to us. You know, because the way a lot of those organizations looked at it was, you know, this infrastructure just isn't that cost of doing business. Because if we want to be as good as all of our competitors, we could just buy right off the shelf and we would be at the same level of every single one of our competitors. But the way that our application structures are put together, the way that uh, our systems hook up all together, all of these very unique things that come together it's just not a cost of doing business. It is actually a competitive advantage to people's organizations. So now the question is here is back to this mainframe part. Um, and again, you all have these. So how does this thing become part of your competitive advantage? Because many, many you know, organizations I talk to is like, yeah, we have this mainframe. It's part of an infrastructure over here, but it's really not you know, a part of where our main stuff is. But, but I'd argue that that is also a competitive advantage in there. There's decades and decades of application work. There's decades and decades of insights. And in many cases, many of the transactional backends for you know, your organizations are running on these. So I want to do some research getting into this talk. And so I went to our handy Google here and I said, OK, what are some you know, modern enterprise IT needs out there? And what I found out really quickly is that there's a lot of people that have been talking about this. And you, know, you can see here about 21,000 articles that came up. Now, I'll be really honest, I, I, I wanted to read all 21,000 articles. I didn't quite get to it. But what I am here to report is I did a quick you know, TLDR of, of what those needs are. And it really came down to really, I think, four big things that I saw stuck out in, in all of these articles. Number one is the challenge with data silos. And if you're running mainframes, that's probably one thing that is just naturally merged over time, but I'd, I'd argue it happens in other areas of the business. You know, SaaS applications, you know, don't always, you know, integrate quite as well into other areas. Um, even homegrown applications, different cloud things, a lot of them not, you know, data silos just emerge, um, especially if these applications are built in lines of business. You know, the need to have a continuous integration development or deployment across your entire um, application stack. So not just very specific to one area, not just specific to one application, but how you're doing your entire deploys. Uh, being able to manage, unify all of the backend tracing, the metrics, all of the logging half of things. Many of these systems all have different ways of doing it, but for an enterprise, you want that single view of how that all comes together. Um, and, and something you've probably heard a little bit about is, um, you know, security, 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 kind of, a, you know, channeling uh, later Steve Ballmer there, I suppose. Um, 
Open Mainframe Project is in a position here where we're actually doing a lot of innovation in this area, because this is something that the customers and the members that we talk to are look at this same thing and say, how can we bring the enterprise together? How can we not make it that different IT applications are different IT teams? How can we not have the mainframe as sort of this segregated off unit here, but a part of a cohesive strategy? So we have some talks today um, as a part of our Open Mainframe Summit track, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I want to touch on a couple of quick things that you should really pay attention to in this space. One of these that's been around for a while is a project we host that's called Zoe. And Zoe came out of the idea that how can we make it easier to get out to ZOS applications and data? not using green screens, not using 3270 terminals, not using uh, you know, older technologies, but how can we use it using modern REST APIs? How can we do it through command line interfaces? How can we build modern web desktop applications? How can we integrate it into our development environments? And this is a project here that has been seeing tons and tons of uptick um, over the past couple of years. Um, we've seen surveys going out there where the usage of Zoe within mainframe customer base is doubling year over year over year. This is, an, this is a project that if, you're in, if you have mainframes within your organization and you're not paying attention to this, this is one you want to keep on your radar. Luckily, there's a talk that happens um, a little bit later today that you can come check that out. I'll have a schedule of talks here at the end and you can learn a little bit more about some of those use cases. The other challenge we talked about was CICD, and there's a new project that we brought in that was called Glossa. And not that the world needs another integration testing suite, but the one challenge that we have seen is many of these suites are not built with how mainframes work um, and, and those sort of strategies in there. Glossa is built from a, a mainframe perspective. It was built initially as a ZOS testing tool, but it expanded to get into the space of hybrid clouds and different environments so that it makes it easy to do that full end-to-end -end testing, but you're doing it in a way that is native, not only to mainframes, but it's also native to a number of these other environments. We'll have a talk later today on this. I encourage you, if you're interested in this, come check that out. Uh, and finally is on the open telemetry front. One thing that we're really excited is that we're working with the open telemetry project and launching a SIG that is specific around mainframe data, helping build mainframe uh, tracing and logging within the OTEL standard, along with building out the agents, the collectors, um, the various APIs to enable any applications that are leveraging OTEL data streams to pull that right in from, you know, to pull in the mainframe as a part of it. So this helps solve that problem of how do we get onto sort of a single uh, telemetry observability platform across our enterprise, leveraging an open standard as our way we get there. So we have a great set of talks here today that I encourage you to kind of check out. We're gonna be mostly over in Broadhurst, um, but we'll have a, a panel here in the Westside Ballroom at the end of the day. Uh, you can scan the QR code that will go kind of in a nice area of the schedule. You can check all these things out. We also have a booth in the sponsor showcase. After the keynotes, you can come check it out. We have a bunch of giveaways, um, including a raffle of a book I just recently wrote on open source. So if that's of something of interest to you, um, you can put your name in and, and win a copy of that book. Um, but thank you all for your time today. Hope you all enjoy the event. And thank you again.